there, Ariana from Crafting Happiness here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet the leaf stitch border. And this is an easy two row border. You can crochet around the project or along an edge. If you are doing the edge only, then um, omit the corner leaves and just do these um, small leaf stitches on the edges. And this is how it looks like from both sides. It's double sided. And this is how it looks like around your blanket. So let's get started. For this tutorial, I'm going to use a Ranyan in green and a matching hook, which is a five millimeter crochet hook. And I will be crocheting the border around my sample, which is just a square made with uh, double crochet stitches onto which I crocheted a base border. And this is just a, a round of single crochet around your uh, project. And what it does, it gives you straight knit edges, straight sides, also puts uh, stitches on the side of each row. And then you can actually uh, uh, crochet your border much more uh, easy. So uh, I recommend before starting on any border, to crochet a base border and that will give you an exact number of stitches around your project and like that it will be a lot easier to crochet your border. This pattern requires you to have uh, multiples of six stitches plus one on each side of your project. Um, that includes also the corner stitches. In this case is the middle of the three single crochet I've made in each corner. If you don't have uh, the same base border um, made around the project like I did, it's just the corner stitch. So both corner stitches are included in this count. Now let's start first round, make a slip knot and then uh, join in any of the corners. And chain three and that will count as your first double crochet. Like this. Now. Um, we will use this double crochet to cre create a V-stitch. Um, a V-stitch is a, it's, um, a double crochet, chain one, double crochet made into the same uh, stitch space or chain space. Now we have our first double crochet made out of three chains, chain one, and then another double crochet in the same space. And this counts as your first V-stitch in a corner. Next, chain two. And we will make another V-stitch in the same corner. So a double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. And this is your corner um, pattern. Uh, there are two V-stitches separated by a chain two. Now uh, let's start working along the edge and uh, skip two stitches and in a third one make another V-stitch which is a double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. And this is your V-stitch. Uh, then skip two, and this is your repeat section for each side. A V-stitch followed by uh, skipping two stitches. And you repeat this until uh, you reach uh, the corner stitch right here, the middle of the three. So uh, let me show you again another repeat. A uh, V-stitch in a third stitch, so double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and then skip two. And again another repeat, V-stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and skip two. So um, I will just jump straight to the end. Uh, and then I'll show you how to repeat this around your uh, project. So now I have reached the corner stitch. I made my V-stitch and skip two. And this is the corner stitch right here. This is how it looks like so far. And this is your repeat section for each side. You made the corner stitches and then V-stitches in every third stitch. And this is how it looks like. Now let's do one more repeat on this side. Um, we will start with the corner stitches. Um, that will be two V-stitches separated by a chain two. 
So make a V stitch in that corner stitch. And then chain two and into the same stitch another V stitch. Like this. And now again skip two V stitch. So skipping two a V stitch and skip two. And again, this is your repeat section. Repeat this. All around, all, all across until you reach the same, uh, the next corner stitch. So I'll be speeding this up. Uh, just if you're not sure how to make it, uh, wind, rewind back, and you'll see how I made this section, and just repeat it on either and all the sides of your project. So now I've reached the end of the round, and you can see how the first round looks like. We have the corner stitches in each corner and then V stitches every three uh, stitches along. And all you have to do is close the round, um, just slip stitch at the top of the chain three you made at the beginning. And this is the first round. Now we will continue with the second round. Start your second round with a slip stitch. Uh, we will need to move our yarn in the chain one space of the v-stitch and this round is crocheted just in the chain space of the v-stitches with the exception of the corner where we also crochet in the chain two space so ignore all the stitches and all other spaces except this chain one space between v-stitches so we continue uh, in a round without cutting the yarn and we make a slip stitch into that chain one space and from there uh, we can crochet, uh, we can start crocheting our corner leaf. And uh, we start with a chain three, and this counts as a double crochet, and then we make um, five more double crochet into the same chain one space. So that's the second, the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. And this is what we have in our first V stitch. Next, we will continue crocheting in the chain two space between the V stitches. And we will start with four double crochet in that chain two space. So one, two, three, and four. And then we will make a picot stitch. And to make a picot stitch, you start by chaining three. And then uh, you insert your hook between these two um, loops right at the base, not in a chain, uh, non, not in the chains you've just made, but into the stitch at the base. So insert it between that loop, pick up the next loop as well, and slip stitch. And this is a picot stitch. And then into the same chain space we make another four double crochet. Two, three and four double crochet. Now uh, we can move into the chain one space of the corner and make six double crochet. Three, and this is the fourth one, fifth, and sixth. Okay, so this is the corner leaf. It is uh, wide enough that it will go across and you will not uh, curl up or uh, stretch the stitches. Now we continue along the um, edge and we will uh, single crochet into the next chain one of the this v uh, stitch so single crochet and then into the next we will make a leaf um, stitch and that is made with four double crochet in that chain one space of the v stitch and then uh, make a picot uh, right at the top of it 
again to make a picot stitch chain three and then insert your hook into the base stitch uh, not in the chains in the base stitch pick up that loop and then pick up the next loop right there and slip stitch and this is your picot stitch now into the same chain one space make four more double crochet and four now we are going to single crochet into the next v stitch into the chain space and this is your repeat section we will make the leaf stitch and then single crochet into the next and you repeat this section until you reach the next um, corner stitches so until you reach uh, these stitches right here um, I'll show you another repeat so into the next V stitch make four double crochet And then pick out stitch, chain three, and slip stitch in the base uh, stitch, and then four more double crochet in that chain space. Then skip all the stitches and into the V stitch, into the following V stitch, single crochet. And this is your repeat. Now I repeat this until you reach the corner stitches right here. And now I've reached the corner stitches. Uh, you can see how these leaf stitches look like along the edge and your corner leaf. And actually this is your repeat section for each side so you make the corner leaf and then um, a leaf stitch in every other um, V stitch below until you reach the corner stitch again so when you start the next edge you make the corner leaf and then your corner uh, your leaf stitches along and so on so let me show you again how to make a corner leaf into the first of the two V stitches in that chain one space make six double crochet and six and then into the chain two space between the two V stitches we will make four double crochet then a picot stitch chain three again chain three uh, slip stitch into the uh, base stitch and then into the same space make another four double crochet Okay, so now we're moving to um, the uh, last V stitch in that corner and make six double crochet. And six. And this is your um, corner leaf. Now single crochet into the chain one space of the V stitch below and we can uh, continue with the repeat along the edge. I will show you again a couple of more repeats and then I will just speed up and finish the entire side. Okay, so we start into the next V stitch, chain one space, make four double crochet. And then make 
uh, three chains and slip stitch into the bottom of uh, that stitch and this is your picot stitch and then in the same space make four double crochet Then into the next V stitch in a chain one space, make a single crochet. And this is your repeat. Now, um, I will just speed up the video. I'll just make leaf stitches across um, a corner leaf in a corner, then again, leaf stitches across, and so on until I reach this um, very first double crochet that I've made. And I'll show you how to close. So I'll just repeat uh, this section, like I said, right here corner stitch, uh, corner leaf, and then leaf stitches, every other V stitch below. And I have crocheted now all around my sample and we've reached the very first um, double crochet we've made in this round. And uh, to close, uh, simply slip stitch in the top uh, chain of the chain three you made at the beginning. So make a slip stitch in there and your round is closed and now you can um, cut the yarn, fasten off and this is how it looks like made all around uh, your sample these are the corner leaves and then the leaves on the edges and yes, this is how you crochet the leaf stitch border. I hope my tutorial was easy to follow. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Happy crocheting!